Good morning. Oh, it's bright, isn't it? Good morning, anyway. Um, so I wanted to come online. I'm trying to move so that the light is in um very bright. Right, let's move like that. Um, I wanted to come online um or just do a Facebook Live about pricing because it's something that has been coming up a lot with the ladies that i'm working with um one-to-one -one clients um and they're asking about pricing so we we get to a stage where right they want to launch a program but then it's like well how much do i charge and i always go back to them and something that my coach taught me um, and i always go back to them and say well how much do you want to charge what feels right to you because it's your business. You have to be comfortable with charging what you want. So if you charge too much, you are not going to go out there and sell it because you feel that you are uncomfortable. You don't feel in alignment with what you are promoting. Um, if you charge too little, you start feeling regret and you start feeling Again, not in, the, in alignment, you start feeling like you don't want to go out there and sell it because it's too cheap and you're not making enough money or you're putting too much work into it. So you have to be comfortable with the price that you charge. And it doesn't matter what your competitors, if you have competitors, what your competitors are charging either. Because when I was a VA, um, I was very busy. I was fully booked and I was charging £35 an hour. And all of my other VA colleagues were charging between 15 and 25. And, I, and at the beginning, I used to say, I used to think to myself, why would somebody come to me and pay £35 an hour when they can go to another VA and pay £25 an hour or £15 an hour, saving themselves £20 an hour? But I had a unique niche, so I was known as the tech angel um so i specialized in the technology side of being a va so to me i put myself in that box and people would pay it because there was no other va out there that was doing what i was doing so i was able to charge what i wanted but that what felt right for me and I was able to charge my worth. My worth was my expertise. They were paying for my expertise. They couldn't get from another VA. And also, they were paying so that they were able to then move their business along. So, for example, I'm not going to disclose any money, um, how much I charged, but I charged, I created a membership site for a client. Well, I've created loads of membership sites for clients, um, but my very first membership site I paid, um, made for a client. And I didn't charge very much because it was my first one, which I was totally okay with. But then she went on and made £2,000 in her first week of launching. And then continued to make more money every single month. So that was £2,000 revenue every single month that she was making because I built her membership club for her. So after that, after she allowed me to build that for her because I'd never done it before. And I wanted she wanted a membership site, so I did it and I wanted the expertise. So after I did a couple, she said, you can no longer charge what you are charging. Because you have to think about what you are then allowing that business to do and how much money they are able to make because of what you've done. So whatever I do now, whatever I put out there, whatever courses, whatever programs I put out there, I always think about the value that I'm giving that person. So I always think about, right, what are they getting out of me doing this for them? What are, what are they getting? So if you are a web designer, for example, right, and you are charging somebody, say, 800 quid to do a website. They are then, they're paying you 800 quid. They are then able, once that website is done, they were able to, oh, I'm going out of focus. Um, so they were able to sell courses. They were able to sell programs. They were able to um, blog. They were able to do videos. They were able to 
put themselves out there as the expert. They're able to promote their business in a way that they was never able to do before. And that's because you put that together. So if you are maybe a mindset coach and you are um, coaching um, a female entrepreneur who is totally stuck in the business, she's not making any money, and you are doing some work with her to be able to um, get her unstuck and clear those mindset blocks, and then she goes on and makes a ton of money because of what you have done, then that investment is priceless, really. So going back to the original um, reason that I wanted to do this live is because of what people are asking me, how much do I charge? And you have to go back and say, right, how much do you want to charge? There's no rules on charging. Um, you know your ideal clients. You know what feels right for you you know um what doesn't feel right for you so you know what's too expensive you know what's too cheap and don't worry about what your competitors are doing either you just need to feel comfortable and be comfortable with charging what you are worth and if another thing don't worry about um there was i'm just thinking about one of the comments that was made on one of my posts yesterday and saying about, well, will anybody actually buy it? Well, yeah, actually, will people will buy it from you because it's you. They're buying into you. So if you've already built that relationship up with people, they'll buy it because of who you are, because you are amazing. And they think that you're amazing. So you know your soulmate clients. You know what they want from you. You know how awesome you are. So you just need to go out and feel comfortable with the pricing that you are um, putting out there with your products. If you're stuck on pricing, um, I'm not the expert at all, but I'm happy to um, give you some pointers on how I price my stuff. Um, if you're watching the replay, let me know if anything, if it resonates with you, let me know. Um, and yeah, I'm in the group. So... I haven't actually done any work this morning. I've done an interview this morning. Um, so I'd best to go and get some work done. So have a good day and I'll speak to you later.